हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल कोड विद आर्या माय नेम इज दीपक आर्या एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्प्रिंग बुड प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ओके इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड वन स्प्रिंग बुड वेब एप्लीकेशन जस्ट फॉर हेलो वर्ल्ड कंट्रोलर ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट इन डिटेल so stay tuned like uh, yeah uh this is uh, uh this is the project structure of uh, that uh, app, uh, web application which we have created pre in previous video uh, so you will find like uh, we have source and we have test okay so in source uh you will uh, find two folders main and test okay in main we have further uh, further we have classified with java and uh, resources okay all your application logic is going to reside in java application uh, application logic is uh, like uh, controller services and dao and uh, dao okay uh, and uh, in resource folder we are going to maintain uh, static content uh like uh, if we are going to create a web application the static content could be uh, css file js files okay and in templates we are going to maintain like html files and in application dot property we are going to write the configurations for our application okay uh, for an example uh, by default our application run in uh, as we have run in previous video so i'm going to run this in uh, this video as well so just for now i'll run this project so you will see that uh, our application runs on 8080 okay let me show you this one let me change the port okay it's running 8080 so uh, i want to change this configuration and i want to run this uh, on 8000 port okay so how how would i so for that i need to change this configuration so for that configuration reside in application dot property let me change this 8000 okay and i let me restart so you will see that your app, uh, uh, now our application runs on 8000 port okay it's working fine on 8000 and it's not working on 8000 8080 uh, okay good so and now moving back to uh, in this okay it's working uh, uh, and uh, now coming to the test uh, test cases part we are going to write all the test cases in this test test folder okay and uh, target so uh, whenever our build our project okay so you uh, are aware like uh, uh, we are build our uh, java application into jar and wars okay so whatever the jars and wars will reside in this target folder okay uh, for just for your better understanding i am building this project so you will see what changes has done in target folder so i build this project so you will see that uh, that area dot char is uh, build, uh, created by build maven build and uh, it come under this target folder so all that build related stuff so will come here okay and test related here and okay now one more thing that i want to explain that the uh, uh, this the main class okay uh, for uh, uh, currently you won't be able to understand like uh, uh, that what is what this annotation is so don't worry you don't have to uh, juggle in that uh, uh, thing that what this annotation means so for just for just uh, i'm going to explain these all things in upcoming video for uh, now uh, uh, you just need to understand this is an bootstrap class whenever you run a your spring boot application uh, this is going to be your entry point 
okay so and similar we have the test cont uh, uh, when uh, we created our spinning boot application uh, with the initializer so it create a test file as well so a test case is going to be here and uh, it's the uh, uh, this annotation is going to load the test context so, okay so, okay and then uh, it's going to run the test cases uh, we will uh, write test cases in upcoming coming videos so don't worry about that and we have pom file which we have discussed in a previous video it contain all the build configurations uh, for uh, the name uh, for an example you can see that this area uh, artifact ID and version uh, and the gist jar are the same okay so this will contain all the build configuration and reporting and etc so don't worry about that we will going to discuss this in a detail upcoming videos okay thanks thanks for watching